Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. With the PDS coming back online yesterday, we've already got a bunch of new data mines and here are 63 different items which have been found thanks to Sugar Bomb Rads. You can find a link to their Twitter down in the description. So without further ado guys, we're going to be diving straight in and I hope you all enjoy and if you do, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and let's dive straight in. Alright, starting off is a really cool new mask that's been thrown in, and this is the Mothman Cultist Wing Clipper. It's definitely a very cool looking item themed around the Mothman, and I'm quite excited for that one. Following that, we also have a new outfit on the way called the Alley Cats Bowling Team. Very interesting one, and for some reason there's a lot of bowling themed items in this data mine, so I wonder what's on the way. We also have another new outfit coming in called the Drive-In Dolly Outfit. Very interesting, not too crazily exciting though, but yeah, definitely one that some people definitely enjoy. To match the helmet we just seen, there's also the Mothman Cultist Wing Clipper Outfit on the way, and this thing looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Another outfit which looks pretty cool, this is the Rockabilly Outfit. I really like the leather jacket on this one, so quite excited for that one to come in. There's a new bed on the way as well called the Rip Daring Event Huntsman Bed. So I don't know if this one's going to be linked with an actual event given the name that it's been thrown in with, but we'll have to wait and see. A water tower has also been found in the files. This one looks pretty decent as well. A nice little camp addition there. For all the Free States fans, we do have a few new items on the way. First of all, we do have a guard post for the Free States kind of themed items. There's two different variants of this, which I can see. There's kind of like a bigger one and a smaller one, but overall a really solid kind of law friendly looking item. We finally got some more data mines on that gutted car gate, which we've seen years ago now, and it seems to be in the files a bit more detailed now. So hopefully that means it's on the way. Linking to the free states again, we also have a perimeter wall coming in, which is a pretty exciting looking one. It's a nice reskin of the stuff that we already have, but I've got to be honest, I actually really like this one. I like the kind of support beams that it's got. The stairs look pretty cool, and I like the blue and white uh, little wall that it comes with as well. We also have a few different enclave items on the way, starting off with a support post that's coming in. It's a pretty decent size, I'm not entirely sure what you'd use it for, but yeah, it looks alright. Linking with the Enclave yet again, there is also a new power armor chassis display frame coming in, and this one's definitely unique, nothing like the ones that we've seen before, so quite exciting to see this one getting added as well. As mentioned earlier, here is some more bowling themed items. We've got a bowling ball rack, I don't know what the whole idea is behind this, but it's coming in and yeah, there's a bunch of uh, bowling balls to come in with it as well. We've got a black Alley Cats one, a gold Onright themed one, a red atom bomb themed one, a resin vault boy themed one, and a vault 76 one as well. So lots of different ones to look forward to there if you're a fan of bowling. There's also a new Mothman shooting target which has been found in the files. This is definitely an interesting one and it's kind of nice to see a lot of Mothman themed items on the way. I always like the Mothman stuff and some of the stuff we've seen in this data mine looks really really good. Bit of a random one now, we also have a tannery bench that's on the way. Kind of links in with some of the items from the current season, but it's not too bad of an item, nothing too crazy, but it's going to be interesting to see how this works. Maybe it'll reward you with leather for having it down in your camp. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Another Enclave themed item that is on the way now, there is a new Enclave uh, floor and foundation set that's coming in. A really interesting one I think this is, is going to be the Voltec Therapeutic Sauna which has been found. At first when I seen the images I thought this was just a new door coming in, but reading the description and actually seeing another image of it, you can see that it is a sauna. So we've got bloody hot tubs and now we have a sauna, so living the high life in Appalachia. There's also a new building set found in the files, and this is going to be another one linking with the Enclave. It's just kind of like a reskin of the one that we've had in the past, but it does come with some extra items, including some new stairs and a ramp that's getting thrown in as well. A really cool item on the way now is going to be this new map that's getting thrown in. This is going to be wall decoration, as you would presume, and this is all about the Mothman Sighton, so that's pretty cool. I like the sound of that. Now, a pretty kind of cool one now. We're going to be getting a... Alien Radiation Dummy. This thing looks really awesome. I really like the look of it and it's kind of like an interesting item to be thrown at your camp. For all the fans of porcelain dolls, not including me because I hate them, this is a porcelain Annabelle doll that's getting thrown in. Quite a small item so ideal for putting on shelves and stuff like that and just to clutter up your camp. But yeah, a bit of a funky one there for you. There's also a new Catherine uh, wheel 
fireworks stand that's been found as well so it kind of links in with some of the stuff that we've seen with the nuka world on tour items but this one is i believe mr fuzzy themed as you can see on the uh, actual little image of it there so pretty cool looking item i'll be interested to see what animation comes with this one Adding to the collection of stuff in jars, I'm just going to call it, we also have some Mothman eggs in a jar on the way. There's also a new sailing light that's been found in the files. And for the people that's interested in photo mode frames, here's a new one linking with the Mothman. There's also a really cool looking backpack skin that's linked uh, coming in on the way. This is a Mothman Cultist wing clipper. So it's linked in with that outfit that we seen earlier on. So no doubt this will probably be a bundle that gets thrown into the Atomic Shop at some point. There's also a new skin for the Pip-Boy linking to the Free States. And also a Free States double barrel shotgun. Just because you know we need more double barrel skins in the game don't we? There's also a new photo mode pose that's been found called the Mothman Found. I kind of like this one, looks pretty interesting and yeah, it looks kind of cool. A bit of a dodgy one now, there's a new backpack flare thrown in called the Purple Mothman Eye. Definitely a kind of weird one here, but it kind of is really cool, so I'm looking forward to that. More Free State weapon skins on the way now, there seems to be quite a few of these, and these are going to be for the Handmade, the Knife, as well as the 10mm Pistol. There's another cold shoulder that's been found in the files and this one's going to be called cold blooded and it's a kind of red coloured skin of it so yeah for all the cold shoulder fans here's another one. Anyone that's still using the flamer in the game here is a very very unique looking one this is a flamingo themed one who the hell came up with that one I haven't got a clue. More free state weapon skins now we also have one for the gauss minigun. And another weapon skin that's on the way is an Enclave themed 50 caliber, making it look like an MG42, which is absolutely fantastic. I love that. Then finishing off the date mine video, guys, this is the last one available, and it's going to be a set of skins for different armors, basically all themed around the Stuntman theme, it says. So it's kind of similar to the Free State stuff, and it's kind of very similar to the American flag with the red, the blue, and the white, and the stars and stuff. So yeah, there you go. It appears to be for the combat, the leather, marine, metal, robot, scout, and also the Secret Service. But there we go, that's all the latest date mines that's been found in Fallout 76. Let me know which one you think is the best one in here and if there's any that you think is complete trash. That'll do for today's video guys, so I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe and definitely go check out Sugar Bomb Rads over on Twitter. Give them a follow and show them some love and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.